Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Manx. And he's joined by Cyan. And we are about to finish this game, or at least this route, by taking on Hegemon Edelgard, which sounds like a Pokemon? Hegemon. <laughs> uh, honestly, she kind of looks like a legendary Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this could be a cool... Like, what, what would she be? She'd be, like, Dark Psychic, I think. Something like that. Dark Psychic or Dark Steel. Dark Flying, maybe? Who knows? Maybe she'd just get Levitate. Maybe. So, um... Here's, here's her stats. She has the Twin Quest power, which she can use twice, apparently. Oh, yeah, that's the po that's the more powerful version of her attack. Um, she has... Once she reaches loses a health bar, she gets Vantage, then she gets Desperation, then she gets Wrath. Yikes. So we gotta kill her fast. She, uh... Doesn't see... Yeah, she has all the regular boss skills, but she also has Twin Crests. She's not very fast. She only has 23 speed, so she'll get double by everyone. Um, she also only has 21 defense. That's not a lot. Yeah, for Edelgard of all people, that's surprisingly squishy. So, yeah. Now, of course, we gotta heal him up if we want to do this. So maybe we should just place ourselves in her range for the time being and just hope she melees him or something. Thank you. And let's see what she does. Um, I mean, once we break her armor, she's gonna take a lot of damage. Um, huh, what do you look at that? <laughs> let's have her go up against Manga first. We'll use Alert Stance. Let's see if she actually. Let's place Dimitri and Manga next, next to her, so maybe they'll actually. We'll try this. Also, let's see what we get. That's number two <laughs> An Elixir! <laughs> Congratulations! Really, game? Really, game? <laughs> An elixir in the final map. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, we don't actually don't want the dude to go in range of Battle Guard here. Because she'll actually just bonk him. We also have the Ferdinand Dance left. Oh, right. Oh, okay. She goes. Okay. Ow. Oh, right. They already had their conversation. Uh, I guess they have. Yeah, they do. All right, so let's see if she attacks Dimitri again, or if she's forced to split up her attacks. Wow. Good level. Uh, nope, she's definitely splitting up her attacks. Oh, she can even crit. Oh, that's not great. Ooh, I want to see her crit quote. Oh, no. My stride. Oh, she's going to do some sort of AoE. Oh, God, is Sylvain in range? Um, maybe? Uh-oh. No! No! All right, well, that was dumb. Uh, where did we put a net? Let's see. I think uh, you used her to rally? He, no, yeah. I healed Ingrid. Um, oh, right. Which, I mean, to be fair... Oh, so dumb. There we go. Yeah, so maybe not do that. Um, maybe we'll just let Ingrid take that. I mean, to be fair, we could... Hmm. Maybe I could just send Sethoth up there and just bonk this guy? This guy's got 29 AS, so he'll probably kill me. He would quad yeah. Sethoth. Yeah. Uh, can you do any dancer shenanigans? That's what I was wondering. Wow, that looks here. Um, hmm. I do have Ferdinand, so... Oh, what, you could, you could just point? Physic. Use Marianne. Oh! She, no, I just used her. But you can dance for her. Oh, right, I can. Hmm. Guide me well. Yeah, sure, we can do that. I can also rally her up so she doesn't take as much damage. Hmm. I could. No. It would be nice to take him down, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait, no, I gotta remember how this actually works now. That's how it works. Oh, she can use a blessing again, I think. No, she cannot. There we go. And then we'll send Ready for Ferdinand. Anything. And this time I want to see the animation. Support animations on. Ferdinand Please dance, Ferdinand. Please. We need this. Well, that was that, underwhelming. <laughs> that is incredibly lame. <laughs> that is incredibly lame, yeah. Okay. Alright. I'll do my best. How far can we put her up before she starts getting targeted? Oh, there we go. 
All right, so who should... Wait, is there really no one in range? Oh, is she out of Physic? Oh, she is! Fuck. That's not great. Hmm. No, it is not. But I think okay. Seth has a repo. No, he doesn't. I have an idea. Might not be a great idea. Trade a... Use Mercedes. Trade a net her Raphael gem. Why? Oh, I see. Oh. Actually, she's not even in range anymore. No, but I don't, we don't know if Ingrid dies here. She takes 22. Actually, she probably will. She's definitely going to die if anything else. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I think the priority might change if we do that with Sylvain. Maybe. Uh, but he has, um, he has repo. There we go. That actually, okay, nice. That actually puts her in healing range. Let's just see if this works, shall we? Hmm. Thank you. All right. Leave it to me. Let's see if it works. Also, I want to use my whatever that is pronounced. What's my strategy? You know what? Manga would probably be better just going and bonking these guys, don't you think? Oh, uh, but then you don't get to see your quote. I guess, but this is annoying me. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess strategy trumps style. This annoys me. We will see the quote. Myself. I just I don't know I'm I'm tired of these guys annoying me and I kind of want to want them to stop. There you go. Get her up a little bit. Let's see if they still focus. Besides, this is way more cool. Ow! Oh wow, she dodgy. Yeah, she's on a 40 avoid Tron after all. Oh god, that would be a nightmare to do in maddening. <laughs> Probably, yeah. All is going to plan. Okay, let's see what these guys do. So they're going for Marianne. That's fine. I don't think the other guy can attack her. Nope. But Edelgard. Can. Yeah, that's the problem. No. Nope. Okay, so she oh. Edelgard just forgot to attack twice. Probably. Okay then. Well, this guy's out of my life now. Goodbye. This could turn the tide. All right, perfect. Now I can counter back. We'll see that quote, don't you worry. I don't think Edelgard's gonna die anytime soon. Yeah, we're actually out of physics. That kind of sucks. Um, oh, no, never mind. We still have it. There we go. But I'm pretty sure Edelgard's armor is broken now. No, not quite. Oh, no, it's not. Is it even cracked? It's not. Wow. Huh. If you look at that. Well, here's the thing, though. What's this? Uh, yeah, no, there, no, there's no way I can, I'm gonna draw. Okay, yeah, so as long as her armor is up, I don't think anything can be effective against her. There we go. Let's see if that cracks her armor. I think it needs to be either a gambit or an effective weapon to crack their armor. I don't know. Hmm. Says here, reduces damage received and activates a barrier ability. Disabled, oh, disabled once attack, okay. Okay, so maybe it's just damage. Probably. All right. Um. Well, we should heal Marianne for sure, and then probably Sethoth. If I can get him close <laughs> enough, actually, I could probably just stride him. Actually, no. Bad idea. Because you still have that brave axe guy. Yeah. I mean, as long as there's only one of them, I guess this is fine. Although I could just send, I could send Felix to deal with him. I think Felix will be fine. He has the power of anime on his side. Um, I still have the dance. Probably gonna use that at some point. Mm, maybe a rally for Dimitri would be nice. Maybe. We'll see. I don't dare to put Dimitri in or to do in a range. All right. All what right, is the last chest? Energy drop. I mean, That's to be fair, I could port. I've ported both of them to Manga, so I might as well use them on her. She's spending a turn moving up there anyway. Bonk. Maybe she don't get her twin quest ability when she uses. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Oh, he has a oh, brain. Oh no, she waited. Oh, she waited to get rest. So that's, yeah, that's what it was. That's bad. I don't agree with the choice because she could have killed Dimitri there. I like that she actually utilizes her personal skill, but it's not a very impactful one. Yeah. I think that's probably there just to not screw over players trying to attack her at one range. Probably. And it's cool. It's cool that she actually utilizes her personal skill in her final battle. I like yeah. that, actually. 
Anyway, I'm gonna do something funny here. Sorry. There you go. And yeah, let's just heal up Dimitri. Honestly, Dimitri can solo her, I think. I mean, Dimitri can solo most things in this game. You have fired your last ballista, my friend. Oh, actually. Actually. Uh, combat hurts. Finesse blade. There you go. And it was unnecessary. You haven't earned my pity. There we go. All the artillery taken care of. Also, remember that thing about enemies coming from the stairs? Me neither. Yeah, um, Not really sure what they were getting at. Maybe we were able to plug the hole. Maybe? It's a bit weird. I thought we were gonna get... Yeah, maybe. I don't know, maybe we maybe attacking the Dark Mage prevented them or something. Maybe they were like they those who slid them in the dark or something. I don't know. Perhaps. Alright, well, um Alright, I'm just gonna do the rally rally. That's helpful. So let's see, can Dimitri take two attacks now? Uh he should, yeah. yes. Alright, well I'll just kill Edelgard. Oh, she has Mall Switch now. Oh. Oh, actually now she has Wrath. <laughs> Yikes. That can hurt. No, actually, no. She, now she has Desperation. Yeah. Which only really helps her if she doubles anyway. Wait, are there chests here as well? I nope. don't think so, no. Doesn't seem... Dudu is doing a good job here. Alright, well, Manga, since you got stat boosters, might as well use them. Energy drop. Let's go. See? Useful stat boosters. Oh wait, she I still Oh, cool. She still gets her alert stance. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. oh, her armor. I I don't know what what you do to make maybe her armor just never breaks. Oh, what? She, oh. oh. Oh no. Oh. Is that it? Oh, just Bonk. <laughs> okay. Yet. There was still more. I also, interestingly enough, it was probably hard to see, but as Edelgard was throwing those fireballs, it looked like they had the sigil of the Crest of Flames in them. Oh, really? Oh, Sethoth, you you died for a worthy cause. And it wouldn't feel right to not let Edelgard get at least one kill, right? Yeah. That's fair. I mean, killing Lady Rhea's right-hand man feels earned, I suppose. It does. All right, Hunter's Holy Magic Ball. Ooh. Yes. Oh, wow, well, you can actually do something. Oh, here comes the Vantage. Oh. I hope we're killing her this turn, because... Um... Probably not. You don't have a Fortify or anything. Ooh, you were right. I do have Marianne, though. Hmm. I have Manga. Sword of the Creator? Let's go. Let's uh, do a uh, Sublime Heaven. There you go. Facing you, I grow weak. Really? That's that's the quote. Watch and learn. Yeah. She's not exactly in her right mind. Blue I... lines didn't establish Edelgard as like manga's gal pal, so to speak. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, I think her armor is gone now. Uh, but she also has 139 HP. Well, um, we also have. Is this how it ends? Us banking on a crit? Yes. Oh wait, you I don't, don't have a durability. No. All right, Dimitri, you can fucking do it. I believe in you. Yes. No. Oh! <laughs> the only proper way to end a Mang's LP with a lucky crit. Oh my God! And a Raphael level. <laughs> it's too fitting. With charisma. Edelgard, it is over. Is it over though? Is she gonna have a phase two? Find out. And then, no, we're not gonna end it. Don't worry. I'm just <laughs> adjusting the sound. Dimitri, 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 Dimitri. Oh, what a surprise! Ooh, we, Ooh, get, we get we get these now. Oh. 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 L.
What? She threw the dagger at him. I thought she. I thought she killed herself. Oh. Oh shit! That's not good. Well, I guess Dimitri would just shrug that off. Ow. Wow. That was... Someone oh, that was heal nice. him, maybe? I know he's Dimitri, oh. but that was a dagger in the chest. Oh, am I gonna get the hug? I think that's it. I think we've won. Oh, sad. She true. Really she true that she tried to kill him with the dagger. Connection unsuccessful. Okay. Guess the servers are down. Oh wow. A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlin. The long reign of the Adrestian Empire. Let's see if we can't find any of our students in the imperial tapestry. capital, the city of Anbar, collapsed. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. With Fodlan united as the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Archbishop Rhea we never <laughs> stepped down from her position. Oh, we never Zeros bothered to rescue Rhea, huh? Steps to Prince Dimitri formally ascended the throne, beginning his reign as the king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, which now included former alliance and imperial territories. Texts from the time claimed that the one who guided the king as he sought to create a world free from oppression. A text doesn't the match the narration. Of the Church of Saros. Quiet. Huh. Okay. Oh, we, we hug Dimitri and become the Pope. The end. So, I, the, the kid got a hug, but I didn't? I think you'll be getting something more, Mangs. I think you'll be getting something that wouldn't be proper to do to a child. Come now, my friend. You must stop staying up so late. Tomorrow is yet another early morning. Then again, I know that matters little. You cannot sleep, can you? <laughs> Neither can I, of course. I... I want you to know I am sorry for making you do so much when your battle wounds aren't even completely healed Dude, yet. you got a dagger through the chest. You're worried about my wounds? <laughs> what of yours? What of yours? Do not worry about me. My shoulder has healed nicely. I still have some numbness in my hand, but it should not hinder me too much. It is a lovely night. Is it not? Why are we even up here? <laughs> How many years has it been since I was kept awake by hopes for the future, rather than by nightmares of the past? Nightmares? I have had the same nightmare for nine long years. A nightmare in which I am constantly tormented by those who have died. They ask me why I have not avenged them. Why I got to live, yet they had to die. No matter how many corpses I piled up for them, in the end, their voices only grew louder. Voices loathing me, calling out to me. Their inescapable death cries ringing in my ears, clinging to my soul. Even now, I can always hear them. I am certain I will be hearing them until the day I die. But I will not cover my ears. I will go on living, and their voices will serve as a warning, as a king, and as a wretch who claimed countless lives. I will build a kingdom where the people can live in peace. I am sure she would laugh and call such talk foolish. But I wish to change this world in my own way. Well, your grace, things will be busy from now what, on. What, what? Our first order of business is tomorrow's coronation. Your, your what? What did you call me? Your grace, you know, you're the Pope. Why is he calling me the grace? Once a professor that's, and student. I guess that's just what you would call now the leader of the church. And a king. How very far we have Archbishop? Come. Wait, I'm... Yeah, right. Did, did you not read the end crawl thing? You took over as the leader of a church service. Oh! I must have missed that. Thanks. Yeah, the the big collar person wasn't Rhea. It was you. Oh. 
I know, I, I was completely... I was looking at the baguettes the guy was selling in the picture. <laughs> Distracted by bread. Understandable. Oh. <laughs> We're still the same. That is true. To me, you will always be the one who guided me so kindly. My ally through all. My beloved... Wait, are we, are we fucking already? Yes. Hug. My beloved. Hug. Dimitri. Listen, there is something I wish to give you before the coronation. Give me your hand. Oh, he proposes to me. Yeah. That's Please, cute. I beg of you, say something. <laughs> you married the wrong girl if you want me yeah, to that... talk. I'm sorry, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> if you do not wish to accept it, please just tell me. You're so I will face the <laughs> There should, there should have been an option to decline him, which would make him like laugh, like in the Ed Edelgard Emperor scene. <laughs> and then, start but then we get like a tr the true ending. <laughs> we fight Hegemon Dimitri. Yeah. Oh. What is this? No, you get a ring. I love you, Dimitri. You beat- that's cuter. You beat me to it. Oh, this is cute. In that case, let us this is cute. Them, shall we? What, we're getting married? I thought we were just trading rings. Your hands. Now that I hold them within my own, I see how small and fragile they hey, are. Hey, hey, dude. I have more strength than you. These hands I could break you in half. Times. Thank you, my beloved. Your kind, warm hands. May they cling to my own well, forevermore. We may not have gotten a hug, but we got to hold his hand. And really, that's... That's honestly more risque. Yeah. Alright. What now? I believe that's it. Okay. Three Houses Blue Lions route is complete. Okay. Wait, am I the MVP or is that how many times they've been the MVP? I don't get it's it. It's just a unit crawl, so manga. But it says, this, like... it says MVP on all of them. Oh, oh, this is the chapters. Right, right, right. Yes. Yes, they aren't numbered, but. Okay. So, well. Okay. I definitely got the twist I expected with Edelgard. Because if it was just like Flame Emperor Edelgard, it would have been very boring. A little bit. I thought it was so. Super... I didn't expect it to be so grotesque. No, but the that that thing towards the end where she threw her dagger at him, that was really fucking well done. Because I was very curious, like when Edelgard was kneeling, it wouldn't have felt right if he had just chopped off her head. Right? No, nor would have it felt right for Edelgard to like throw away her ambition, like, no, no, forgive no, no, no. him, or even kill herself. Like she went down fighting. Yeah, yeah, when she pulled out the dagger, I was like, what, is she gonna commit Sudoku? Like, that's not Edelgard at all. And then she like, no, she actually tried to kill him. Which made it justified for him to kill her. Mm. That was a really perfect way to end it, almost. Actually, not not even almost. That was a perfect way to end it. I really. I think thought of a better way to do it. Huh. You know, it's weird, because, um... Hmm. I just now realized that there's a different boss in every route. That really makes me wonder who the final boss of the Golden Dare is going to be. I suppose you'll have to find out. Yes, indeed. Huh. I wonder who the final boss in Church Route is going to be, too. That probably is Edelgard. I can't see it not being Edelgard. Huh. Edelgard doesn't much like the Church. Yeah, that's why. I think like you're literally fighting against her, so... Hmm. That's very interesting. So yeah, uh, obviously this, um, hmm. I'm going to make a video where I basically just sum up my thoughts on the Blue Lions. I'm gonna make Cyan edit it. Yay. Uh, I should have done it for uh, Crimson Rose, but honestly, I Mecha made a video called um, Edelgard Deserve Better, where he basically just summarized everything I thought about the rut in a video. You should go watch it if you haven't. It's really good. It's great. So, after he made that video, uh, I just wasn't, I just didn't feel like doing it. Um, yeah, um, I'm not gonna read out these. <laughs> We're just gonna let them play in the background. So yeah, I don't know, uh, what are your thoughts on, um, let's, we got some time to review the route, I guess, I mean, we could do a little bit of a 
Cause, cause you you'll hear my thoughts eventually, but I'd like to hear your thoughts, Cyan, on the story of the Blue Lions. I think the fact that Felix, Ingrid, and Sylvain were Dimitri's childhood friends really made the Dimitri's personal struggle a lot more poignant in Blue Lions than it was in Golden Deer or Black Eagle. Like, I feel like this was the character-focused route, and it, I think it succeeded. Mm -hmm. I, Dimitri is, God, I'm not, I'm not sure if I like him more than Claude. I might. I think he has a way better character arc than Claude, and probably more than Edelgard. Hmm. You can see why he's a fan favorite. I like him a lot. Far, um. As far as maps go, uh, it's hard for me to give a good overview as to how I think they were, since many of them were repeats from uh, Black Eagles and Golden Deer, and this isn't really maddening mode, so it's hard to judge how difficult they are to begin with, but some of the locations were interesting, and maps that were revisited were at least shaken up enough to not be a complete retread from at least Golden Deer to my recollection. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of them reusing maps, but um, I mean, that's what they're doing, I guess. We're gonna get more maps with the DLC, so sorry for eating, guys. I'm really mm. hungry. We've done three episodes in a row. <laughs> <laughs> mm. If there's one regret I have, it's recruiting all the students. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I actually feel like that robbed me of some pretty important dialogue. Uh, I think that the whole experience... like, It's nice that they have the option to recruit all the students for those people who think it's awful to kill them. And I'm not saying I want to kill the students, but I think some of the maps probably would have been a lot more interesting if the students were present there, because... I have actually gotten it confirmed now that the generics who replace them are actually weaker. Oh. Petra in the map, uh, in the the three-way bat battle where you face Petra, people are saying that on, on hard mode she has like 50 plus AS or something. Oh. And the assassin, an assassin that replaces her is nowhere near that strong. Mm. So it actually makes the maps a lot easier. Mm. So if I could change anything, I would go back and not recruit all... Because I never ended up using them anyway. Or at no. least not a lot of them. So, so when I'm, yeah, when the next time I play a rod, I'm probably not gonna go ahead and just recruit everyone. I'll probably just recruit the the guys that I want and leave the rest. Yeah, because more so than it making the maps easier, I think it robs you of a lot of just tragic dialogue. Yeah, especially if you're pitting like friends against one another. If you'd recruited, for example. Ferdinand and fought Dorothea in the capital, I'm sure they would have had a conversation. And vice versa on the Great Bridge of Mirrodin, I believe it is. Yeah, exactly. And, um, so I'm a little bit sad that I did that. Um, but, you know. I mean, we're still at, like, zero battles, zero victories, and we've been talking for a few minutes now. Just to <laughs> illustrate our points. There are yeah. a lot of people in our squad that just have not seen combat. Pretty much, pretty much. Um, and you're stuck at 12 deployments. I mean, I, I'm trying to think of, like, there's obviously some... Pa what it did give me were some paralogues that I'm happy about. Like, I got to see the Death Knight. Although, that Death Knight paralogue was really underwhelming. Yeah, I feel like if they'd given you the CG with uh, Mercedes and... What's his face? Uh, I think Emil's his actual yeah. name. If the Death Knight actually died there and you got the CG from the paralogue, I think it would have been worthwhile. But yeah. as it stands, it was just a little diversion. In fact, I find most of the paralogues... I mean, I, I haven't played Marianne's yet, but I understand that's one's kind of important. Some of them are good, but most of them are just... They feel like... I mean, they are filler, and they're supposed to be filler, but I wish they could have maybe given us a little bit more backstory to them. Hmm. Because I feel like many of them are just over so quickly. It's like... Um, they really didn't want... It, it feels like they really didn't want you to miss out anything, so they didn't want to put important shit beyond the paralogues, which I get. But yeah. it's just a little bit weird. Um, let's talk a little bit about Dimitris' uh, redemption arc. Did you did you like how he, he snapped back? I like how he snapped back pretty slowly. Even after Rodrigue's death, it wasn't an instant I'm a goody two-shoes. He recognized his own faults, the murders, the atrocities, for lack of a better word, that he's committed. Yeah. And he's trying to kind of make up for the wrongs he's wrought, so to speak. Mm. Oh, hey, Marion fought a couple times. Oh, shit. I thought we were going to lose her over not playing the Paralogue. I guess it's only if you didn't recruit her, right? I suppose... Hmm. I'm not sure. I Thinking about it, maybe... Because you wouldn't get her end card if you didn't recruit her. Yeah, I guess not. So... 
Oh no. I maybe. <laughs> oh, maybe it's because we got the A support with Dimitri, where she like figures out she wants to live without doing the parallel. Maybe. I like how in the episode where Gilbert dies, there's like one guy who's like really angry that I killed Gilbert, and he's uh, really angry that the video didn't get any dislikes because no one cares about him. <laughs> no one cared about Gilbert dying. I think people would be a little bit mad about Seth, though. Well, we'll see. Noblest the of noblest noble. noblest of nobles. <laughs> um, so yeah. Hmm. No, I, 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 I gotta say, um, I wish Blue Lions was my first rep. I think I would have, I, 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 I would have enjoyed. Have you, yep, have you played Crimson Rose yet? I've played Crimson Rose. I've not, I've not actually busted through all the Blue Lions on my own. Because uh, I feel like uh, if you play Blue Lions first, Crimson Rose, God, that's gonna be a lot more impactful. I didn't even get the special CG with Edelgard and Dimitri on my first playthrough, because um, I killed the dude before he transformed. So yeah. um, I got the Dudu Dimitri scene instead, which is heartbreaking in its own right, but it replaces the Edelgard Dimitri CG, which I think was even more impactful. So I didn't even see oh. that. I had to go back and watch it in the event gallery. But uh, no, I really wish I'd played Blue Lines first and then Crimson Rose. I think it would have been a lot better. But I always decided from the start that I was going to go with Edelgard. So yeah, I would have been. I, nothing would have changed that p path anyway. But I feel like. Mm, I'm not saying they should necessarily encourage you to play the Blue Lines first. But maybe, like, they could have had, like, a. This is the recommended path for you to play. I think it would have helped. Because having played Golden Deer first. I, it was a fun route. I like the characters. I'm sure you will, too. It does not touch on this main conflict nearly as much as the first two routes. Mm. Yeah. So, I, if you get if you want my opinion on it, Blue Lions, Black Eagles, Golden Deer, and I Church somewhere in there. It's hard to... I, I don't know where I would advise someone to play the Church route. Sylvain and Ingrid got married. Oh, that's nice. Huh. And Sylvain was faithful to his wife. And they, oh god, they had a lot of kids. How many? Uh, many, but none of oh. them were crests. Okay. Wait, did they get married? No, no, Annette straight as an arrow. Oh, okay, they just get like a parrot ending. Yeah. Huh, okay, cool. I'm actually kind of interested in seeing this. How do you think about characters sort of just get getting paired with each other based on their support level? I think it's a necessary evil for not having limited supports. Mm-hmm. And it's somewhat the same thing, because you'll get paired with the person that you have the highest support rank with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only choice you really have is who you marry as an avatar. I honestly think it's okay that tree houses don't focus so much on marriage. Well, I think it's for the best. If I'm being perfectly honest, I I don't think Byleth or Manga, in this case, really adds anything substantial to the story. No. I think Three Houses is a, it's a case of a game being good in spite of... Of Byleth, and I'm sure I've said this a couple times thus far, but yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't ruin the story, like no. This isn't a case of her just ruining a story like Chris and Fe12 or something. It's just she's just kind of there, and for that reason, she's already a lot better than Corin and some of the other avatars we've had. Yeah, probably worse than Robin. Uh, definitely better than Corin. Probably better than Chris. Mm-hmm. I don't really consider Mark an avatar, if I'm being perfectly honest. So, uh, a lot of people are probably wondering what I'll do next, and uh, I'm, we're gonna have a small break. Um, like, not a huge one, just a little bit of a buffer, because I feel like it might be good. Uh, so, we're, I'm, I'm not gonna release, like, the first part of the next Let's Play tomorrow, like I did with this one. Um, can't really say how long the break will- not, not very long. Maybe just, like... Five or six days, maybe. Just to get a little bit of a breather before I start on Golden Deer. <laughs> Maddening. <laughs> no new game plus. <laughs> You're gonna die. It'll be great. It's interesting because I'll go from new game plus to probably the hard... I, I think... Um, yeah, it's, it's... I'm not sure which of the three routes are the hardest. I think it was generally agreed upon that Golden Deer was the hardest. In That's terms of what I've heard. So I'm going to go from New Game Plus Blue Lions, which is probably one of the easiest things. I mean, I, I guess Blue Lions New Game Plus Normal Mode would be easier, but normal, normal, hard mode New Game Plus is sort of like... I. This wasn't a very challenging route because I was decked out in everything imaginable. Retribution just breaks the game. Like, I could literally just 
you saw how I played towards the end. I just sent the train and killed everything because I could. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be interesting, I think, to go from that to Maddening. Which, and on the hardest route without New Game Plus. But I want that golden menu, man. Or as, I, as I've heard some people call it, the golden shower. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. We have Sothis there, too. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing, guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing Golden Deer Maddening No New Game Plus. It's going to be a long-ass let's play, I think. Um, probably longer than any of my other two ones. Because the maps are going to take a lot longer to complete. And I'm probably going to have to include a lot of the, the church thing. Or the, the monastery thing. Because really have to optimize properly. Um, as for who I'm going to be doing with it, with it, I'm not going to say yet. Um, I may or may not have decided yet, but you'll probably see sign in the future, I can imagine. Um, <laughs> so, um, right. This was fun. Thank you so much for joining me, sign I really, really appreciate it. Well, hey, I'm nothing if not a very good fallback. I'm sorry to all the Ghast fans who really wanted to see Ghast in this final episode, but uh, as of recording this, it is his birthday, so he's out getting hammered. He sent me a drunken message from Discord earlier. So he was not available for this recording, and uh, it would really suck with Gast. Our, our schedules just really did not align properly, and especially once I started streaming, and he, um, we had a very small window where we could record together due to he having work, and it was just really hard to find. We, we had to rush it a lot of the times. So I'm sorry to all the Gast fans. At least you got him at the start of the Let's Play. Um, you got Cyan towards the end. I know a lot of you guys like Cyan. Um, so if you like Cyan, go follow his Twitter. I think you'll appreciate it. Nice, yeah. nice plug right there. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right. Well, I think we'll just let the credits roll. There's and... not much to say, so. Yeah. Thank and... you very much for watching this Let's Play, and hopefully we will see you in the future. Yeah, and uh, I will uh, see you guys in give or take a week, probably, or something along those lines. Bye-bye. <laughs>
the fuck is edits? Why do they spell it with a set? <laughs> Man, these credits are really fucking long. Thank you so much for everyone who watched to the end. If you actually did, type I am Ferdinand von Eyre in the comments, just so I can see how many of you there are. Bye. <laughs>